Hi, it's still February 12th. Let's do another part of the tutorial for Chapter 2. So, let's open a world. I got a grass world again. Uh, what I want to do is bring in three characters. And what I'm going to do is do something along the lines of what the book has. We want to have each character jump up and down three times. And then what we're going to do is uh, introduce something called parameters. They're basically placeholders to the methods, to the functions that we'll write, that would allow us to alter um, how many times something happens. Uh, so that's where we're headed. Let's get some objects. Let's get my wolf I always like. Let's see. We can get a horse. And horses and those in the ground. We're gonna have to pull the horse up a little bit. And let's get a chicken. So I can click on the animal, and then remember we can use these controls on the side um, to move them around. This is the one, the second from the end, which should allow me to move things. And it's getting bigger and smaller. That's fine. I don't want to mess with that one. I want to bring the horse up. Let's use this one. There we go. And then I want this one. Where we can move the horse over there. There's the chicken. Let's move the chicken over here. And oh there you go. Ah. There. Remember what we learned last time about doing some immediate moves? Let's have all three characters turn to face the camera. So if I come over to the husky here and do a right mouse click, there is a method, turn to face, and let's put down camera. All right, facing us. Let's click on horse, right mouse click. Horse, turn to face, turn to face, camera. There we go. And finally, the chicken. Right mouse click, method, turn to face, camera. All right. So let's call that done. We've got all our players there. And let's click over here and say create new method for the chicken. And here, let's call it jump. Okay. So we have jump. And notice what we can do. So we have now um, our world first method, and we have our first method for chicken jump. I can click on here for back to the world. And right now we're going to do our chicken jump. So in chicken jump, I want to drag over the chicken move into this window where it said do nothing. Once I drag this over, it asks the direction. So let's go up five meters. I'm going to test running the program right now because that's always a good thing to do. Let's see if when we run this, what happens. Current method chicken jumps not called by any events or by any other methods which might be called by any events. That makes a lot of sense. And we run the world, nothing happens. Now notice we did create something called chicken jump, um, and we can see over here. Uh, uh, there, here's the object tree. There's the chicken on the object tree, which is selected, and here's all the methods that existed before. And no, right uh, on top of create new method. There's the jump, which is the one that we created. So I'm going to click on world, my first method, and I'm going to drag this jump over here. Now in the world, um, there's one thing and only one thing that's going to happen. Chicken's going to jump. 
Let's try it. Whoa! Chicken went up five meters in the air. It might have been too much. Let's try that again. So, over here on jump, notice the edit button to the side. I'm going to click that. And that puts us back as if we had just clicked on the tab for chicken jump. Notice it says move up five meters. We can adjust that. Let's just go up one meter. I make the change there. I don't have to go back into world my first method because we already have it saying, please do the chicken jump, whatever the chicken jump is. And notice we just changed it, uh, the method in one spot. We change it here, it's done. So watch what happens when we play now. Much more reasonable. And the chicken jumped, well, sort of a jump. We had it move up, and now it's just floating in the air. So, let's come back and say, let's take chicken move and put it right underneath chicken jump. And we're going to say down this time, and we'll go down one meter. So we went up one meter, we'll go down one meter. Let's try playing that. Sweet. All right, let's do the exact same thing uh, for the wolf and for the horse. So I'm going to close this window. I'm going to click on the horse right here. And I'm going to say create new method, just like we did before. I'm going to call it jump because it's the same kind of method. It's just one that's unique to the horse as opposed to the chicken. Notice we have a jump now under horse's detail. I'm going to come over here and go horse move, direction up, one meter. Horse move, drag it over, direction down, one meter. Let's try running it. Oh, we know what's going to happen if I just try running it. We didn't include it in the world. So I'm going to click on the world tab here, the programming area. Notice it says chicken jump. Horses details are still selected over in the detail window in the far left. I'm going to drag jump over here. And it reads kind of nice. Chicken jump, then horse jump. Let's play it. There's the chicken. There's the horse. And the wolf does nothing right now. Let's complete and do the wolf as well. I'm going to click on the wolf, the husky, in the object tree. I'm going to, there's the methods, uh, there's create new method down here, I'm going to say create new method, we're going to call it jump, say OK, there's a bunch of other methods that already exist for the wolf, that's interesting, anyway, we're doing the jump, we want, that's down below the create new method, there's the move like we had before, Move up one meter, drag over, move down one meter. Let's run it. Oh, again, let's click on world first method and let's drag. I'm going to slide the slider up a little bit. There it is. There's the jump for the husky. Let's put that underneath. So we have chicken jump, horse jump, husky jump. And we play them. One. Second and third. So we have a small movie. And you actually and Alice, actually, I did try and make a movie. My Alice wasn't making it. Um, but I am making a movie the whole thing, so there always is a way around, which is typical with computers. Um, suppose we wanted them to all go at the same time. That's something I'd like you to think about. I'm going to leave this the way it is right now. Um, we've played with creating our first program. I'm going to close the Alice world there. And let's review what we did. We added three characters to the scene. Husky, horse, chicken. I clicked on each one. I came over here and did a create new method. And in each of the cases, I created something called jump. And, and when I create a new method, it shows up here as a tab in our programming area. And we made an identical kind of program for chicken jump, horse jump, and husky jump. 